everybody it's the war hipster here coming at you with another contrast plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the inquisitorial agents kill team from the ashes of faith box sent to me early by games workshop to build up and paint for all of you and that is exactly what we're going to be doing and they are awesome look at them they're fantastic they've all been primed in gray here now what we're going to do is we're going to do all seven of these guys in one video and it, rather than trying to paint them all at once and it getting all confusing and difficult we're going to paint them one by one and then we're going to get them all to the war hipster battle ready stage and then we're going to get them all up to the parade ready because then we'll know what our consistent colors are going to be so that seems the simplest way of doing things so we're going to as i mentioned do them all one by one now what we have here is we have an interrogator agent just there we have an auto savant which is this guy back here we have a tome skull which is obviously that one just there uh, we have a pistolier agent this one right in the middle we have a death world veteran because he's the coolest one by far uh, we have a gun servitor back there and we have a mystic agent this one with a standard there they are so as mentioned we're going to paint them all up one by one and i'm just going to do them in order that i picked them up there's no particular order here but we're going to get them all war hipster battle ready and then we will take them to the next level so we're going to grab our paints we're going to grab our brushes and then we're going to get started so to kick things off then, we're going to do our interrogator agent. This one makes the most sense to me. So the color we're gonna be using first is Saigor Brown. We're gonna try and keep things reasonably simple here because this is a large box. And well, we don't wanna overwhelm you with the amount of paints that are gonna be used. So we're gonna kick things off with Saigor Brown. I'm gonna paint this all over the top of his cloak or coat, whatever you want to refer, that, refer to that as. Uh, and it's got that lovely kind of dark brown, so that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to get this all over, just like this. Aiming for a nice smooth coat. By just taking it nice and methodically. So with that Saigor Brown all applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're gonna apply this over the top of the remaining parts of the coat and we're gonna apply this over the top of his belt and holster. So with that now done, we're then going to take a little bit of Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of the boots. Like so. We're going to apply this over the top of little necklace and over the top of the eye patch. Whilst I had the Black Legion opened, I also painted in the eyeball because I figured it would make sense. So what we're gonna do now is move on to the next color and that's gonna be some Pterodon Turquoise 
I'm going to apply this over the top of the cover of the book. And the casing of the auto pistol. And with that now done, we're then going to take some skeleton hoard. I'm going to apply this over top of the pages of the book. And over the top of the candle. So with that done, just before we do the metallics, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of extra layers here. And one of them is going to be some Volupus pink. I'm going to apply this over the top of the belt and holster and the bookmark. And with that Volupus pink applied, we're then going to take some black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of the casing of the pistol and the book cover. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Gilliman flesh. I'm going to apply this over the hands and the head and the face. But that goes without saying, right? And so with that now done, we've got two colours, Imperial Fist and Griff Hound Orange. And we're going to use these on the little candle flame. So we're going to start by using the Imperial Fist, right like this. Just going to bring it down onto the wax a little bit there as well. There we go. Then we're going to wash the brush, grab a little bit of Griffhound Orange. I'm going to add this towards the tip whilst it's still wet. So with that all done, what we're now gonna do is gonna move on to the metallics. And the first one we're gonna add is some thinned down iron warriors. I'm gonna apply this over the mechanical details of the pistol. I'm gonna apply this over top of his belt buckle And we're going to apply this over the top of the bottom part of this thing. And so with that Iron Warriors applied, we're going to now take some Thin down Retributor armor, and we're going to apply this to all of our remaining details. So with that now done, it's time to add some shades to the model. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by taking some Nuln Oil. We're gonna use this to shade all the silver and we're gonna use this to shade the brown.
And with that done, we're then gonna take some Caraberg Crimson. I'm gonna use this to shade the red. Remember that Caraberg Crimson applied, but then I'm going to take some Dreadful Visage. I'm going to apply this over the top of the skin. And with that all done, we're then going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this to shade all the gold. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull I'm going to add this in both corners of the eyeball, like that. So with that done, our interrogator agent is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And she is looking pretty cool. So I'm going to pop it to one side. I'm going to pick up the quickest and easiest one, which is the skull. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by taking some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the top of the pages of the book. Like that. And we're also going to apply this over the candles. So with that Agrax Earth shade applied, we're then going to take some Skeleton Horde. I'm going to apply this over the top of the skull. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some shyish purple and we're going to apply this over the top of this smooth cave ball. And with that shyish purple applied, we're then going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of the other cable and the cover of the book. And with that now done, we're then going to take some Gore Grunt of Fur and I'm going to use this over the top of the strings. And so with that now done, what we're then gonna do is take some thin down iron warriors. And we're gonna apply this over, well, quite a lot of the details that are remaining. Pretty much the only one we're not gonna do is the little Aquila on the front of this assembly. I 
And with that Iron Warriors all applied, we're then going to take some thin down Retributor armor and apply this over the Aquila. And so with that all done, we're then going to take some Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to shade the gold, the silver, the black, and the purple. So with that null Oil applied, the skull is at a war hipster battle ready. So that's two out of seven. So we're now going to move on to our mystic agent. And the color we're going to be using first is Sigval Burgundy. I'm going to be applying this over the top of all of his robe. So we're just going to pick a place to start. And I'm just going to start right up in here. this and with that done just whilst we're waiting for it to dry what we're going to do is we're going to take some black legion and we're going to apply this over the top of the boots Apply this over the top of the leather. Also going to apply this over the top of his undershirt. So with that all done, the Sigval Burgundy is now dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some shiny purple and we're going to apply this over the top. So with that now done, what we can do is we can take some Achillean green and we can apply this over the top of the soft wrap of the staff. And with that Achillean green all applied, we then take Apothecary white. We're going to apply this over the top of the apron.
And with that now done, we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade. We're going to apply this over the top of the blindfold. And the Purity Seal. And with that now done, we're going to take a tiny amount of Saigor Brown. We don't want loads here. I'm going to use this over the top of all of his flesh. With that Saigor Brown applied, we're then going to take some Skeleton Horde and apply this over the top of the skull. And with that Skeleton Horde applied, we then take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this to the inside of the eye. And with that flesh tear as red applied, we take a tiny amount of Dark Angel's green. I'm going to apply this over the top of the purity seal. And so with that done, it is now time to move on to the metallics once more. And the first one we're going to use is some thinned down Retributor armor. We're going to use this over pretty much all of our remaining details, excluding the chain and the pistol handle. So with all that Retributor armor applied, we're then going to take some Iron Warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of our remaining details. So we've got the little chain links just here. So with that now done, we've got all of our base coats on, on our Mystic Agent. So we're going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to apply this over top of all the gold. So with that now done, we're then going to take some Null Oil. I'm going to apply this over the top of the silver. So with that done, that's three down, four to go. And what we're now gonna do is we're gonna work on my favorite, I think, of the bunch, the Pistolier agent. So the color we're gonna be using first for her is some Baal Red. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of the robe.
And with that bile red all applied, we're then gonna take some flesh terrors red. I'm gonna apply this over the top. So with that Flesh Terror's red applied, we're then gonna take some Black Legion. I'm gonna apply this over quite a few details. So what we've got is we've got trousers. There's just a little bit of the trousers that you can see just there. We've got the actual arm plates on the legs as well. We've got all the leather details, so the belts and straps and backpack. And we've got this armor here but not on the opposite side, because that's a bionic hand. So with that Black Legion all applied, we're then gonna take some Skeleton Horde. I'm gonna apply this to the inside of the coat. And to that purity seal just there. And so with that now done, we're gonna take some Apothecary White and we're gonna apply this over the top of the armor panel on the shoulder. So just whilst we're waiting for all that to dry, what we're gonna do is gonna add a couple of shades one of them is going to be Caraberg Crimson. I'm going to apply this over the top of all the red. And with that Caraberg Crimson all applied, we're then going to take Nuln Oil and we're going to apply this over the top of the black. So with both of those shades that are applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Retributor Armor I'm gonna paint this over, well, quite a lot of details. And it's generally like the usual suspects at this point. You can see why we divided up the video in this fashion. So what we've got on this individual, we've got the bullets going down there like that. We've got all of the trim. On the coats, the armor. We've got the large eye on the back here.
So with all of that retributor armor all applied, what we're then going to do is take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this over her face. And her left hand. And with that Gilliman flash applied, we then take a tiny amount of Dark Angel's green. We're going to apply this over the top of the wax seal. Well, oh, purity seal just there. And we're going to apply this over the top of the little smooth cable. With that Dark Angels green applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm going to apply this over pretty much all our remaining details. The only area we're not going to apply this over top of are the plasma coils. And so with that now done, we're then going to take some frost heart. We're going to apply this over the top of the plasma coils. And so it is now time to add some shades to get this one to the war hipster battle ready standard. The first one, you guessed it. This is Reichland Flash Shade. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the gold. And with that Reichland Flesh Shade applied, we're then going to once again take some Nuln Oil. I'm going to apply this over the top of all the silver. So that's four down. And they're looking pretty cool. Well, four up to a war hipster battle ready. So what we're going to do is we're now going to work on this absolute legend. Here he is. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some Gut Ripper Flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of his vest. Now the easiest place to do this is to start just in here and then bring it round under the armpit. like so. We've got this next bit. And then we start to move around this way. With that gut rip of flesh applied, we're then going to take Iron Jaws Yellow. We're going to apply this over the top of his shoulders. And with that done, just whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to take some Dark Angels Green 
I'm going to apply this over top of his trousers. So with that done, it's a little bit early, but we do need to add some shades. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Targor Raid Shade and apply this over the top of his shoulder. And with that now done, we're going to take some Mortarian Grime and we're going to apply this over the top of the shirt. So with those shades applied, we're then going to take Gilliman Flesh. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of his visible skin. So with that now done, we're then gonna take some skeleton horde. I'm gonna put this over the top of his little tabard. that skeleton horde all applied we're then going to take some black legion and we're going to apply this over the top of his boots and his gloves So with that Black Legion all applied, we're then going to take some Wildwood and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the remaining leather details. So we're going to start back here on the belt. So that wildwood all applied all the way around. What we're then going to do is take some flesh tone is red and we're going to apply this over the top of the little tassel just here and any of the soft wraps on the various knives and things he's got scattered about his person. And so with that flesh tear is red applied, we then take some Griff Charger Grey and we're going to apply this over the top of the hand. With that Griff Charger Grey applied to the hand, what we're now going to do is take some thinned down Balthazar Gold. I'm going to apply this to the haft his hunting spear. I know you must be reeling from the use of a third metallic, but there's no time. We must move on to the next color, which is going to be Iron Warriors. <laughs> We're going to be applying this over the top of all of our silver details, which are going to include all of his knives, his buckles, the spikes on his shoulder guard.
his interesting hair. The grenades. And with that Iron Warriors all applied, we are then going to take some thin down retributor armor. And we're gonna apply this over top of all of our remaining details. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, on our Death World veteran. So we're gonna add the shades. Now, what we're gonna do is, you've already seen this several times, <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some Nuln Oil and we're gonna use this to shade all the silver and we're also gonna use this to shade the black as well. And with that null oil applied, we're then going to take Reichland Flesh Shade only this time, not just using this on the gold, which we are, but we're also going to use this over top of all of the brown. And the belt is our gold. So with that now done, our Death World veteran is in the bag. So we can pop him to one side and we can move on to our servitor. So what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna take some Ultramarines Blue and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of his kind of soft clothing. So we're just gonna start right in here. Like that. Whilst we're waiting for that Ultramarine's blue to dry, we're going to take some Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the armor. And so with that Seraphim Sepia all applied, what we now do is we take Black Templar and we can apply this over top of all the blue. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some flesh tear as red, and we're gonna apply this over quite a few different details. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick out some of these cables. So we've got this one here, for example. That we're gonna do with the red. Like that. We're gonna do this one here as well. We're gonna do the top and bottom ones in this little cluster. Like that. 
we're going to do. That little one there. Then we're not going to do this. No, we are going to do that bit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. Or don't. In fact, don't. Because, yeah, it's my video. <laughs> Yep. And what we're going to also do, we'll finish off those cables on the back there in a little while, but what we're also going to do with the Flesh Terrors Red is we're going to use this to paint in the boots. As well as the gun casing on the multi-melter. Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Dark Angels Green and we're going to apply this over the top of the rest of our cables. And with that Dark Angels Green applied, we then take Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of all the ribbed cables. So, with all that cabling now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to use this to shade the boots. With that Agrax Earth shade now drying away, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade and we're going to apply this over the top of all the skin. And with that now done, we're going to take Caraberg Grimson and we're going to use this to shade Red cables. And the casing of the gun. So with that done, we've got quite a lot of this done already. So what we're going to do next is we're going to work on the metallics and the color we're going to be using first is Balthazar Gold. I'm going to be applying this all over the top of the barrel of our melter gun. like this sort of thing and then we're going to pick out the odd little bit of mechanical detail here and there so we're going to pick out this little kind of doodad and with all that Balthazar gold applied we're then going to take thin down iron warriors and we're going to apply this over top of all of our remaining details So with that done, we're now going to add some shades and we're going to start with 
Catterberg Crimson. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to, firstly, on the arm around the eye, we're going to add a kind of it's like branding. Like that. Like so. And what we're also going to do with the Carabao Crimson is we're going to use this to shade. The heat shield of our melter. And with that done, we're going to finish him off, or at least get him to War Hips to battle ready, by taking some Nuln oil. I'm going to use this to shade the silver. The Balthazar gold. the black ribbed pipes. And with that, our gun servitor is now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. So we can pop him to one side and we can move on to our seventh and final individual who is our auto savant. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some bar red. We're going to apply this all over the top. Of the robe. And with that bar red all applied, we're then going to take some Sigvald Burgundy and we're going to apply this over the top. So with that Sigvald Burgundy all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this over top of all of the paper. We've got this large scroll that's being written. But we also have the other ones scattered around. With that done, we're now going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of his leather details, including these little hanging parts. Like that sort of thing. And up here on his head, we're going to pick out some of the cables, but not all of them. So with that now done, we're then going to take Dark Angel's green. I'm going to apply this over the remaining cables.
looking at that. And I'm going to apply this over the top of this little ink pot. With that Dark Angel's green on, we then take some Gilliman Flesh and we apply this over the top of the face. With the face now done, we take Imperial Fist and Griff Hound Orange. I'm going to use this on the little candle light. Just like we did before. On our interro interrogator. <laughs> this has been a long, long recording. So we take the Imperial Fist first. Grab a little bit of Griff Hound Orange. Add this in. Grab that. Wash the brush. I'm going to grab a little bit more Imperial Fist. And add that towards the base. So with that little flame done, we're then going to take Agrax Earthshade and Wildwood. And we're going to use these on the quills. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to paint this over the top. Just like that. I'm going to wash the brush, grab a little bit of wildwood, and then we're going to add this over about the top half. Of the quill like that, wash the brush, grab a little bit of Agrax Air Shade, and we're going to use that just to smooth out the transition between the two colours, like so. So, with that now done, we then take some Flesh Tear as red and we apply this over the top of the other ink well, just in here. as well as the little bookmark doohickey that's just under there. Like that. And then, if you're feeling really brave, what you can do Take a very small brush and you can apply this over the top of all the text. So with all that flesh tear is red, hopefully for the last time in this video, what we're gonna do is gonna take some last some thins down. Iron Warriors, and we're going to apply this over, well, pretty much most of him. Got a little bit of areas of trim and stuff, which we're going to do in gold, of course, but the vast majority of him is going to be silver. So I'm just going to start around here on the back. And with that Iron Warriors applied, as promised, we're going to take some Thin Down Retributor Armor. And we're going to apply this over the top of all the remaining details and bits of trim. So with that all done, we've got all of our base coats on, so we're going to shade it using Nuln Oil over the top of all the silver.
And with that done, we're then going to take Reichland Flesh Shade. We're going to use this to shade the gold, but we're also going to use this to shade his robe as well. So here we have it then, all seven of our inquisitorial agents are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And they really look pretty cool as a little set. Really, really, really nice. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna highlight all of these. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go in the same order. So we're gonna start over here and do this one, then 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 this one. But there are going to be some consistent highlights that we're going to do. So, as an example, the gold. The gold is all going to be highlighted the same way. The silver is all going to be highlighted the same way. The black details are pretty much all going to be highlighted the same way. The only black details that aren't going to be highlighted the same way are the ones that are on this gentleman, particularly on his trousers. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight over here and I will tell you when we're going to do it across all of those same details. Uh, and then we're going to go through it one by one to pick out the individual ones as we go. There shouldn't be too many. It's just a case of getting it all done. And there will be a couple of individual things here and there, such as text and the camo on this guy's trousers, for example. But otherwise, this should look pretty cool. So let's kick things off with our interrogator then, shall we? So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some thinned down blood reaver flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight his coat or her coat. With that Blood Reaver flesh all applied, we're then going to take some pink horror. I'm going to use this to highlight our interrogator's belt and holster and bookmark. And with that pink horror all applied, we're then going to take some Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm going to use this to highlight his red details. With that evil sun scarlet applied, we're then going to take some pallid witch flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight the skin and the candle. So with that pallid witch flesh applied, we're then going to take some cabalite green. We're going to use this to highlight pistol and the book. So with that now done, we're then going to take some thin down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight all the black details. So 
So with that, Dawnstone applied to all of the black details on him and the other six of our individuals. What we're now going to do is another long highlighting process in that we're going to take some thins down Liberator Gold and we're going to use this to highlight all of the gold on all of our Inquisitorial agents. So that Liberator Gold applied to all of the gold details on this individual and the rest of them. We're now going to do our next big one, which is some thins down Iron Hand Steel. And we're going to use this to highlight all of our silver. Once this is done, you've got a finished Inquisitorial Agent and the rest will start to drop like flies. So with that done, our first Inquisitorial Agent, the Interrogator, is now finished. So we can pop her to one side, ready for basing. And what we do is we pick up the skull. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use some Pallid Witch Flesh and we're going to use this to highlight the candle and the pages of the book. And with that Pallid Witch Flesh applied, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull and we use this to highlight the skull. And with that Screaming Skull applied, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this over the little eye lens. Just there. Like that. With that eye lens done, we're then going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to use this to add a little bit of text to the pages of the book. So you don't want very much here. And then what you want to do start adding these tiny little lines going across the pages like that. So with that done, our skull servo, what's it called? <laughs> tome skull, our faithful tome skull is now finished. So we can now move on to our Mystic Agent, which is a fantastic name. Anyway, the colour we're going to be using first for this one is some thinned down pink horror. I'm going to be using this to highlight the robe. So with that pink horror all applied, all the way around, what we're then going to do is take some Cadian Flesh Tone. And we're going to use this to add little spot highlights to the sharpest points. On the robe. Just like that sort of thing. And what we're also going to do 
So we're going to use this to highlight the red. up on the staff. So with that Cadian flesh tone all applied, what we then do is take Blood Reaver flesh. And we use this to highlight his skin. And with that Blood Reaper flesh applied, I'm then going to take some Screaming Skull and use this to highlight the skull. And with that, we're then going to finish him off by taking some Cygore Brown and I'm going to add a little bit of text to the parchment. So with that done, the Mystic Agent is now finished. So we can pop him to one side and we can pick up our Pistolier. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take some thin down Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the red. And given as the black, silver and gold, again, are already done on this, this one. Not too many highlights to actually apply. And so with all that Evil Sun Scarlet applied, we're then gonna take some Flayed One Flesh. I'm gonna use this to highlight the skin. And with that done, we're going to once again use Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm going to use this to add a couple of little, tiny little spot highlights to the red. Just to give it all that kind of little bit of visual interest. And with that, our Pistolier is now finished. So we can pop her to one side and we can pick up our Death World Veteran. So what we're gonna do here first is we're gonna take some Flayed One Flesh. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of his skin. So with that done, just before we finish off the face, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down Vulcan green. I'm gonna use this to essentially relayer the trousers, just avoiding any of the recesses. So with that Vulcan green applied, what we're then going to do is going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to use this to paint in his eyeball. We don't need to do the other one because it's already sufficiently shaded and he doesn't have one. Pretty grisly scar going down that side of his face. But what we're also going to do, just once we've got that Black Legion nicely on there,
like so. What we're also going to do with the Black Legion is going to draw some little squiggles over the trousers. So with those Black Legion squiggles all applied, what we're then going to do is going to take Baylor Brown and we're going to add some yellowish, brownish ones. So we're going to do a little one just around here. Need a little bit more paint on my brush. Like that. We're going to do another one there, like that. Going to do a really little tiny one. Just like this. And you want to continue around the trousers like that. But what we're also going to do with the Baylor Brown is we're going to use this to highlight his pauldron. And so with that, the trousers are finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a very, very, very tiny, teeny, diddy amount of Screaming Skull. We're going to apply this. In each corner of his eyeball. Just like this. And we're also going to highlight his tabard. And with that done, we're going to finish him off by highlighting his tassel with some Evil Sun's Scarlet. And with that, the Death World Veteran is now finished. So, that's five down and two to go. So, we're now going to work on our Servitor. And the colour we're going to be using is Dark Reaper first of all, and we're going to use this to essentially do a little kind of re-layering. And with that Dark Reaper all applied, we're then going to take some Thunderhawk Blue. I'm going to use this just to add a couple of little highlights to the sharpest folds in the Servitor's clothes. With that done, we then take some Evil Sun Scarlet. And we use this to highlight all of the red details. And with that now done, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to highlight the armour. With that Screaming Skull applied, we're then going to take some Warp Stone Glow. I'm going to use this to highlight our green cables.
with that warpstone glow applied. We're then going to take a teeny tiny little bit of black legion and we're going to apply this over the servitor's eye. And with that done, we then take a little bit of Flesh Terror's Red. We apply this over the top of the eye lens. And with that done, just to finish him off, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Rune Lord Brass. And we're going to use this to highlight our Balthazar Gold areas. And as mentioned, our gun servitor is now finished. So we can pop him to one side and we can pick up our final agent. And what we're going to do, there isn't actually a lot to do. Cause it's mostly silver and gold, which has already been done. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some Evil Sun Scarlet for the last time. I'm going to highlight the robe. And with that then done, we then take a little bit of Cadian for us, Jen. And we just add this to the sharpest tips. With our robe all finished, we then want to take some Pallid Witch Flesh and we want to use this to highlight his skin. Like that. And we want to pick out some of the feathers. In the quills. And finally, to finish off the whole thing, we're going to take some thin down iron warrior. I'm joking, we're taking some screaming skull. Another firm favorite with this one. And we're going to use this to highlight all of the paper. And then after this is done, all that's left for you to do is to base your miniatures however you want them, or in the same style as the rest of your army. And so there we have it. Our inquisitorial kill team is now all finished. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Very, very characterful. Very, very cool. And a number of them you could just use as inquisitors themselves, although they haven't quite earned the right for that just yet, but I really love that mystic agent, the interrogator agent, the death world veteran, and the pistolier agent. I think they just look fantastic. They're my favourites, which is most of them, so not really my favourites. It's a cool set. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy alternatively you could become a youtube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful amazing people have done and if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming. <laughs>